Dana. Hi, Heather. From SoFlo Moms on the Go. Our second episode. Yeah, exactly. Very excited. <laughs> we're trying to get, we're, we're, we're making trying to sure we're in here. You're yeah. going to scoot over a little bit. So there we go. We can be super close and super in our personal spaces today. <laughs> so I hope you can hear us. If you do tune in, we probably have to talk a little loud because we are, if you can tell, see if you can figure out where we are in South Florida today because yeah. we're on the go. So if you check in, leave a comment. Hi, Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. So, um, Tiffany, do you know where we are? I don't know. <laughs> Hi. I know. I think we're a little delayed when we uh, um, ask our questions. So make sure that you're in yours too. So we're, I can hear you. Great. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. So we're, um, we are simultaneously um, doing live Facebook from both of our uh, Facebook pages. Yes. We're at Meisner Park. So, so you can tune in to... Pellerini. Yep. On on Facebook. On Facebook yep. as well as uh, Local Mom Scoop on Facebook. So you can follow either one of us and we're simultaneously, that's why we might be looking up, looking down. So um, we're going to get this camera thing right eventually. I know. Well, it's, it's kind of fun though. Well, and Tiffany's the one on here and she kind of gave us the idea of, um, you know, doing it simultaneously. So, yeah. you know, um, Dana's followers can follow her and they can follow me. Exactly. So anyway, so we're here. Yes, we're here at Meisner Park today. It's gorgeous out. Um, the sun's like kind of coming in and out. It's actually a little warm. I'm shocked. So. I know. I was, it was, well, I was up in Orlando for this weekend, but it was cooler than yeah. usual, I think. Yeah. And Amazing. what did you do in Orlando? You just we, <laughs> <laughs> what did you do in Orlando this weekend? We went to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas with okay. a close family friend and my parents. Oh, great. And it was a lot of fun. I, we got up there Stay Sunday. Close. There you go. We got up there Sunday and basically just hung around during the day. And then Sunday night went to the park. You could get in at 3, which is great. Um, and then by 7 o'clock, anyone that doesn't have that Mickey's Very Merry Christmas ticket and bracelet can't stay in the park. And you can also see the ride lines go down drastically. Oh, yeah. The waves. Oh, yeah. It's a wonderful thing. I yes. think they went on Space Mountain and there was a 10-minute wait, which I've never seen Oh, my before. gosh. Wow. Mm -hmm. So this was a good weekend to go. It was really, it was great. I mean, the weather was good. It was comfortable. The kids actually, we stayed till 1230, which is like unheard of. Usually both of my kids pass out before the period. Oh, wow. Hi, Erica. You stay close to your phone. Oops, I, like, I know. Hi. Um, hi, Erica. Hi, Angelique. Thanks for tuning in. So we're talking about SoFlo Moms on the go here. Yeah. And hopefully we're not too shaded. We didn't want to be in like the direct sun. Right. But, um, yeah, so that's fun. I just did the Disney uh, Mickey's A Very Merry Christmas Party. I did a little, and I know you're going to be doing some too. Um, hi. Um, tips on what to expect when you go to Disney. So it's on Local Mom Scoop. There's some really cool tips that I didn't know. I didn't know you could get in at 3. How did you get in at 3? If you have the pass, you could get in at 3. What time did you go? The ticket? You mean for the yeah, party? Yeah, the ticket for the party. Oh, crap. Oh, I put 4. That was one of the tips. I thought it was 4. No, we got in at three. Oh wow! So three. So I have to change my post today. So you can actually get in at three, which I have to tell you, that was like my first tip was, um, like it's almost going to the park all day. Yeah. It just, but you have to have kids that can handle, you know, the evening. But we both have kids that I think They're can at the handle age that. Right yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. So, well, cool. My weekend consisted of sick kids. That's not cool. <laughs> So, yeah, I know, I would have <laughs> left them home at Disney, you know, but no, I would never do that, but um, I thought about it, no, I'm just kidding. No, we just have the common cold stuff going around, oh, such pain, but, you know, um, it's it wasn't, you know, it could be a lot worse, so really just earache, and I tried to, Erica, I tried to do some holistic homeopathic stuff, but it wasn't working, and I ended up taking her to the pediatrician, and you know, just a bad ear infection, antibiotics. So, but she's, I know, just a fever, just annoying, just poor little thing, just annoying. But, you know, I have friends with the vomiting virus going around and, um, yeah, I wouldn't want that either. Like no, that's, no, I, I'll take an earache. I'll take, I'll take a sore throat. I'll, I'll take, take a sore throat. I'll take snot, blow some snot. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> blow some snot in a tissue for me, but I do not want to hold your hair while you're vomiting all over the place. Oh, my couch and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So aye, aye, I know. Aye. So that was my weekend. I know. Kind of a kind of a bummer. And we still, you know, she's still sick. So stay in the shot. Yep. Sorry, I keep I keep like going, I know because I'm looking at you. It's like well, you have to. Well, she was on television this morning, yes. so I got to give her a little shout out Yay. on what WPTV. I was on WPBF and I was okay. talking about um, things that you should be buying in December. And some of the items that I was talking about were, you know, after Thanksgiving, it is a really good time to buy cooking essentials um, and kitchenware. So oh, like cool. that KitchenAid mixer that you want, more than likely, it's okay. on sale now. What about knives? Yeah, all that stuff. Oh my gosh, I need, new, I need new knives badly. Mm -hmm. I need knives. And then also like toys, minus the Hatchimals, which I know. The Hatchimals like the are the bane. Okay, so what's trending? Hatchimals. Mm -hmm. I'm over it. And I've had my parents just called me yesterday and they were watching the news and they said that Hatchimals were available um, at Amazon and Toys R Us. And then my husband, we got an article in the newspaper. And there were like 200 people standing in line and like 50 Hatchimals at Toys R Us this weekend. I'm like, really? It's really like the Cabbage Patch Kids, the Tickle Me Elmo yep, yep. craze all over again. And I don't understand. I mean, I understand. It's, you know, they, I know. They do it on purpose. They make us crazy. But honestly, I swore that I would not make myself ever make myself crazy over a toy. Did we talk about this last time? We might have. Um, yeah, I mean, I love my kids, but seriously, I'd rather, and then I just, I'm mad at the people who are just buying them and just trying to make a buck. I oh, mean, selling them at like a premium yeah. on eBay. I mean, yeah, I should have thought, nice. I nice. should have thought about that, I but I mean, but then I <laughs> You want to be that person at the I, same time? Maybe, but then I feel bad. I feel bad because, you know, there are probably some kids out, needy kids out there who would love to have a Hatchimal and, you know, for $250, that's ridiculous. So, and I feel oh, bad yeah. for the Hatchimal um, guys, you know, they've got a product. They As entrepreneurs, like, more, who though. knew? Probably. That's true. It hatches and there's a stuffed animal, right? Yep. That's think. it. That's My it. boys aren't into it. I'm like kind of thankful. Oh, but yeah. they are into um, Pokemon Moon and Sun are the new um, DS games, which video games are a big, um, big thing happening this season. And especially after Black Friday and Cyber Monday, when you bought all of your gaming consoles, now you're getting all the games to go along with them, wow. and they should be, you know, starting to really get on a heavy discount. Did you know that also, which I thought was really interesting, that December 19th is free shipping day? No. I didn't even know it existed. Oh. Yeah. So, so do we need to hold out for, I, like... I can't wait that long, though, because I I know. Like I want to be done. I want to be done. I don't want to hang it over my head. So, anyways, what's the one gift that you guys are in desperate need of? finding or getting or what do your kids want um, this holiday season what do you want and then tell us what you want and then leave your husband significant others email address in the comments and we can tell him we can <laughs> feel like by the way <laughs> by the way you don't know who I am basically it's probably but... just a day off yeah I'm assuming it's a day off Gosh. without anybody following you to the bathroom um, <laughs> And sitting with a massage, you a, spa, you... a spa day. Yep. Um, somebody to like clean up the toy room or the toys, like a magical fairy that or would come. Or to teach your kids to do it. Like, yeah. Or beat your kids to do it. Yeah. Hi, Rosie. Hi. Oh, oh my God, I keep on smelling. I have to be careful. <laughs> Speaking of Rosie, I just saw the proofs of my family photos. Oh, and cool. she completely captured the essence of the boys, Aww. like their personalities. And she's like, send over the ones that you want me to edit. <laughs> and I email her back, is there a minimum? Because I loved all of them Aww. and I wanted all of them. But um, yeah, oh, so thanks, I limited Rosie. it, I think, to like 10. Oh, cool. Or maybe 15. Thanks, Rosie. She said she looks fantastic. Oh, thanks. Tiffany wants a vacation. Oh, I would like that too. Minus everyone. Like, I want my own yeah. vacation with no one. A vacation. Yeah, a me -cation. Oh, that's a new trend. Ah. Nobody trademarked that. I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, um, okay, so we talked about, so we're still talking holidays. So we talked about it last time, but we both have gift guides. So, um, oh, she said pick more. She said pick more photos. Rosie oh, said pick more photos. No. Oh, my gosh, I feel so bad. Um, but we have both. Have, we both have gift guides, mm -hmm. and yeah. we shared a little bit uh, one item last time. Is there anything else that you want to want to share that you think is trending? Um, what's like I I did stocking stuffers is my latest one on the oh, blog, cool. and the thing with the stocking stuffers is I used to always get like these little 
tchotchkes that the kids would be like, oh, cute, and then like throw away. I don't, I don't want them throwing it away. Like right. I, it's got to be useful, even if it was a dollar ninety nine. I want it to be useful. So my gift guide is useful, unique stocking stuffer ideas. Cool. Um, some of which, some people that have stockings hanging on my wall might be getting them, but useful stuff for the kitchen. Right. I mean, I don't know. There was this one thing. It's called Angry Mama, and it's this little person that you put water and vinegar in and you put it in the microwave and it cleans your microwave but it's like the cutest <gasps> thing it's so funny. I totally want that. Oh can yeah. you guys hear the train? It's a little loud. Facebook Whoa. Live. Facebook Live. Um, I want that. <laughs> I want that. Did you hear what she was talking about? It's a thing for your microwave that cleans it because somebody in my house always reheats food and it's usually pasta sauce. And I opened the door and they didn't put a cover on it and then I'm, you know, you can hear me as loud as the train yelling from my house. Oh cool, you can still hear us. Okay, it's awesome. really loud where we are. It is. Um, that's cool. I yeah. want that stocking stuffer. I agree. It's almost like, don't give your kids a goodie bag like at a birthday party. I mean, when I come home from a birthday party, seriously, it's like just don't even bother buying any of that junk. Just. Because I throw it all away. They play with it for what, a couple hours or on breaks, a breaks, and I feel bad. Like, yeah. don't waste your money on it. Yeah, them. exactly. Cool. So I'm going to check Yay. out your stocking stuffer thing. Let's and what see. What do I have? Radar. Let's see. I've got. Oh, I love this thing. So I, I have a for him guide. And I'm sorry, but my husband is like impossible to shop for. I'm still having a hard time. But one of the things that I found, which is really cool, was this tailgate table that you actually hook onto the tailgate hitch. So it has like a, it has like a, so you'd open up the back of your car, the tail, the boat hitch, you know, that you would pull a boat, mm -hmm. you link it on there and it pops up and it's like a six foot table that just kind of opens up and hangs off the back. I know, it's crazy. That's so you're awesome, not, though. so you're not, there's a gnat. So you're not, there's a gnat attacking me. <laughs> so I it's live, you. <laughs> live Facebook. So, um, so it was great because it kind of sticks out from the car right. and you just put all your stuff instead of reaching in your car. I mean, tailgating's tailgating, but you really don't want to put all your food and stuff in the back of your car. Like oh. I always want to fold out a table. So I thought that was pretty cool. No, that so is that's on really my nice. gift guide for him. That guy, you know, that's like totally impossible to buy anything for. No, that's a really good idea. Thanks. We don't tailgate. But if we did, we'd Well, come with us. I would love well, to. Well, we need the dolphins to like win some games. Are they doing we'll... well? No, they just lost. Oh. Yeah, I know. I love you dolphins, but seriously, I it's like a team. Oh, oh God! Not oh, that might be. Either. I know that might be a fun to sit and ah, watch our husbands go yes. at it. Ooh, I'm tripping. <laughs> um, I know usually we're sitting, but we were trying to find some good light for you guys so you could see. Um, and look at the beautiful fountain. I know. Can you see? Here, let me move. Love Meisner Park. Um, <laughs> they have so many great decorations. So, uh, what else are we talk about? Oh, so we have. We had a question of the week. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so someone asked, um, and will be remain named anonymous, but um, what do you guys recommend, meaning us, and mm -hmm. you guys also, we would love to hear your feedback, on how to get rid of morning sickness, or to ease it, because it's not fun. Like, not fun. No, I know. If you've had morning sickness, or you have kids on that you're watching, let me know. Um, it is the most dreadful thing probably that I've ever been through other than the C-section wasn't so bad, but nobody really tells you about birth. Sorry, I don't want to scare you, Rosie, but, um, <laughs> but I had two girls and I had, um, the worst, um, the first pregnancy, it would hit me at night. So I would work all day and I don't know if it was like mind over matter, but right. I would come home and I would want to die. And so, but I'd be starving at the same time. So I remember my husband, um, cooking and I'd have my head out the window so I didn't have to smell, but I was wanting to eat it at the same time. It makes no sense, but that's usually pregnancy. Yeah. So um, I would say that one of um, my tips would probably be to always have something in your purse. Like a snack. Like a snack. Like you just can't let yourself get hungry. And I know sometimes you just don't want to eat. I think my girlfriend just had like saltine crackers just on her bedside table, yep. you know, in her purse, extra one in the car. Um, oh, drinking. I thought, just, it said, I thought it said drinking cake. I'm like, whoa, that must be new. <laughs> Tiffany said coke. not eating until 11 and then drinking Coke. Oh, I okay. wonder if it's the caffeine or the sugar. Oh, maybe. Mm. 
That would be a good one. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, but they say ginger. Some yeah. people like the ginger lozenges or like ginger. The ginger. Yeah, you but I the no, they're just I can't stand ginger. Oh. I think it tastes like soap when you do sushi. I think it's gross. I don't. I like the ginger. I don't eat the ginger with the sushi. Yeah, but it's supposed to be really good for you. It's supposed yep. to be really calming for your stomach. I wish I could handle peppermint it. Peppermint also. Peppermint tea. Yeah. Peppermint tea. You could do a ginger tea. Yeah. One of my friends did that. She had a stomach ache, not pregnancy related, but she took actual ginger, shaved some of it, and put it in her cold water to help. Ah, oh, so that's you do, a good idea. You might, I mean, it's very ginger. Yeah. But, well, yeah. What no. were some other tips that I had? I did the cracker thing. I remember I was pregnant with Nathan, and we just landed in Ireland. We were going on a week vacation. I was six weeks pregnant oh with him, seven weeks pregnant that's with him. That's so funny. We land, and it was like, I get off the plane, I felt nauseous, and I'm like, are you kidding me? That's so, so crazy. Do you know I went to Ireland with my first, too? You did? Yeah. I don't know that. How crazy. See? Ah, We're just see? having our own show here. So I couldn't drink the Guinness, but I did. Luckily, for some very odd reason, I thought to bring goldfish crackers with me. Oh, that's Although smart. the food in Ireland was so like comforting, like the soups yeah. and stuff, it was fine. It's but... not very like out there. No. I think I... Uh... Oh no, I landed in Ireland. I was five months pregnant and I actually had been doing really well, but I think I got a little dehydrated. Literally threw up. I was in the middle aisle. My husband's sitting next to me. I have no idea what happened. It was like this little throw up. It was, nobody knew. It was like, boop. And I'm sitting here and he's like, okay, so we landed. And he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I just threw up. And he's like, what? How did you do that? And I'm like, I have no idea. It was the most She's stealth. She's so classy even when she vomits. Oh God. It was the most stealth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw up session. Um, one thing, but you need to check with your doctor because I'm not a doctor, but I was so bad with my second one. I literally, I didn't have the hypermesis, which, oh gosh, some of my friends have it. It's just like, it's the whole pregnancy. They can't get out of bed and sometimes they end up in the hospital. No, yeah, that's so you terrible. really, yeah, it's bad. But I ended up taking, and sorry, don't judge, but it was really bad. Um, it was almost like a sleep aid. So, and it has an anti-nausea in it. It's almost like Zofran? being on a boat. No, it wasn't a, it wasn't a prescription. It was almost like no dose oh, okay. or sleepies or something like that where it helps you go to bed. But the problem was I'm taking a sleep aid in the first trimester when all you want to do is just, just pass out. Yeah. So it was very, it was, a, it was a struggle. Hashtag pregnancy struggles. So, um, mm -hmm. what else? I'm trying to think of what else you could do. I mean, it's also, there's a point on your wrist, which I don't know if you could see oh, yeah. with my bracelets, but there's a point on your wrist that's either, I think it's three finger marks yeah, from your, your thanks, my, my non coffee. Um, three finger, really? I'm like, that was here. <laughs> from your, um, where your hand meets your wrist, there is a pressure point here. Oh, okay. And then if you rub it, actually hurts out now, but it hurts because that's where everything gathers, but it's supposed to help if you massage it with nausea. Oh, okay. So I don't know if it's more or less of a, um, it kind of kept my mind off of it too, because I was so busy trying to find this point and massage uh. it, but it's supposed to help and relieve nausea. And I think that there are some pressure points on your feet also. So maybe um, acupuncture. acupuncture. Yeah. I have a good acupuncturist, PM me, he's amazing. Um, that maybe, yeah. I think he got me pregnant. We won't, that's a whole nother. That's he a, got you pregnant? That sounded terrible. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Zoll. No, um, no, but I've shared him a lot with a lot of friends who've been trying to get pregnant. Good to know. Yeah, acupuncture. I think it's pretty good. So, um, what else? What else was trending? We were talking about oh, the sinkhole in Texas. That's crazy. Did I any know. houses fall in? No, but I think two, two cars did. Can you imagine just sitting there and the whole world just like sucks you right in? Right in. Not exciting. No. I know. What other news? There's not that much going on, which is kind of a good thing right now. I mean, everyone's getting ready for the holidays. It's year end for bookkeeping and getting Duh. all of your paperwork in order. Yeah. So that's kind of annoying. But um, Oh, I know. We talked about um, we talked about holiday traditions last time. But um, does anybody make cookies? I kind of want to do that this year. And I'm just not... DIY mom, sorry, I'm not, but I want to kind of do it. Do you get like it. the refrigerated ones that you like slice? Yeah, and then... but I'm like dying for my my neighbor back in the day, like my when I was growing up. She made the best, and I got I don't think my mom has the recipe, but it was kind of a sugar cookie, but it was the kind of cake ones. Have you ever so had those kinds? So they're not. Yeah. Was it like a snickerdoodle? No, it was the 
it was just regular sugar, sugar cookie, cake. but it wasn't like the snack, you know, where it's more crunch to it. This was like, and I'm just, I'm like, and she's put the best frosting on it. So I'm thinking about it. The problem is the kids don't get out till the 20, my kids don't get out till the 23rd. Yeah. So we literally go right into celebrating Christmas for us, 23rd, 24th, 25th. So then is it kind of not that exciting after? Like then we have two weeks off, so. Make New Year's cookies? <laughs> oh, we could. That's a good idea. So, do any of you have any cookie recipes or cookies that you love? You can uh, shout out and comment below. Yes, that and let us great. know. We used to get like the, the refrigerated cookie dough, I know. and then we'd have the little um, the cookie cutters, and then the sprinkles, and you'd put them in, and then. I think I have to make the dough and the cookies beforehand because that's not really the fun part. I think at, at my kids' age, mm -hmm. I think they'd rather. Um, I think they'd rather decorate, so I don't know. So much more fun, and I feel like there's so much more um, in terms of products and stuff out there that you can get to decorate them. Do you Sorry. know what I mean? Like the different frosting. Oh, and... yeah. Like we're down here at Meisner, there's Sur La Table. We'll have to go check it out and see if they have any. Like, I want that. If I do it, I want that. I saw it in Bed Bath & Beyond. It's like the cookie tube thing, and you just put the, you put the end shape on the end of the tube, and you put the dough in the tube, and you just kind of pump it out. Is that like I cheating? Is that That's cheating? Not, yeah, you're still making a cookie. True. Yeah. I don't have time to do the dough and the whole thing. Or you could go, where's Le Macaron? Is it still here? Oh yeah, I think it's over there. We'll have to go walk over. You just get a Never bunch of macarons. Santa loves them, I heard. Macarons. Oh really? No, I'm kidding. But they're gluten free, which is really good. Oh, and they good. come in amazing flavors, oh, yeah, so you, I you, think you we need to stop by. Free, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna have to stop by there. What did she say? Make my a gingerbread, gingerbread house. house and decorate. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was such a mess. I tried to make a gingerbread house last year. Yeah, we did. And try. it was the boys, and we sat there, and we ended up just eating the walls because you know how you're supposed to use the frosting to yes, to glue it together. It, it no. doesn't work. No. You have to stand there and hold it, and people were crying, and people were crying in my house, and it was just like it was a just mess. Eat the walls. It's That's fine. a cookie. Oh, a cookie press. Oh, Tiffany has a cookie press. Is it good, Tiffany? Should I try a cookie press, or is it better just go old school? I mean, I have a ton of cookie cutters, so maybe I need to do that as well. I don't know. What else? Um, so what else have you written about on your blog tonight? I mean this week. Well, I finally got up. Um, I did a, present, a holiday tablescapes presentation with Bloomingdale's at Town Center Mall in Boca Raton. And so I finally got those pictures up. Thanks, Rosie. She was my photographer at the event. And um, I had Atlas Party Rental and Sandy James Fine uh, Food and um, Productions came in. And we just, they set up like four different tablescapes that were kind of like South Florida style. It was cool. Oh, but it's nice to get like a good yeah. idea of what to do. I mean, yeah. I'm definitely going to have to It's different. It's not what you think it would be. So you'll have to check it out. You know, it was a little bit more, maybe eclectic, not so like traditional, you know, Christmas or Hanukkah or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, but um, yeah, I thought they did a really good job. And then I tried to pair some fashions back. Um, with it so oh that's a really cool yeah. idea yeah yeah so know. that's on the blog right now I just posted that last night and all my craziness sickness what have you got going on so um, you've got your stocking stuffers I have my stocking stuffers up and then I'm going to be writing on tips for taking family photos do's and don'ts that will um, sorry we lost you guys for a minute we reconnected <laughs> so we'll see how um, we'll see that probably later this week um, other than that, I'm trying to get all my gift guides out. I know, it's so hard. It's getting there fast. I have the for kids. That's probably going to be out by Friday. Okay. That one has really fun things that like I personally want, but I might have to just get them for my kids and play with them myself. I have a kids one out, and I actually substituted something for Hatchimals, so if you want to go check that out, ah. it's something that cracks open, so if that's what they want. Close enough. Yeah, right, it's whatever. It's the whole concept of being surprised at what's inside, right? Exactly, exactly. I think that's a cool idea. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing this weekend? Ooh, I'm <laughs> I'm actually excited as long as um, as long as everybody is healthy. I had actually won a gift certificate to it's a place in Delray called Right by the Sea. So we'll see. I, I'm kind of taking like a little mini vacation with the family. It's literally oh, 20 minutes away. That's so nice. I know, but I think it's gonna be windy and cloudy. But I don't care. It'll be fun. I don't know if they're the downtowner, which is like the little motorized golf cart. I don't know if it reaches that far. But that would be fun, and to go into Del Rey and have dinner, and so yeah, that's what we're doing. Like get off the grid for a little bit. Yeah, and I think we have to use it. <laughs> so nothing like a little pressure to help you, you know. Go. Yeah. What are you enjoy. doing? Um, we have.
have an ugly sweater party oh, on Saturday. Oh, I want to go to one of those. It's fun. We had one at our house like two years ago, and it was so much fun. And we had like a contest of who had the ugliest sweater, and then they won. I forgot what they won. But it was like cute. It was fun. And, and you just like, seriously, some of them are outrageous. Like you know what? Um, but do you have to crank the AC? Yeah. It seems like you'd like literally have to have your house at like 70, you know, 69 degrees or something. Just yeah, so in Florida, sweating. sweaters though. Well, it's like hot today, and then I I'm think sweating. they said I'm sweating, and I think it's supposed to be 70 you said on Friday. Cold front. Yeah, That's we're our cold front, by the ooh, way. Get the boots out. What? So, um, <laughs> <laughs> what else? So, I think, um, so what we wanted to share too is that, um, we are gonna. We decided um, to start doing sort of like an after show. It's not mm -hmm. gonna be video, but we're gonna walk around our locations and take some really cool pictures of some fun things. We were just in Francesca's, and they have some really cool, like gift ideas. And um, so you can follow um, Local Mom Scoop on Instagram. I'll be doing a Insta couple Instagram stories on that, and then on Snapchat. So on Local Mom Scoop, if you want to follow after the show. Right, and I'll be on Pellerini on Instagram. I might pop into Snapchat, but I've been really like digging the Instagram story. I know. It's and I'm always on Instagram, so it's so easy to just be like, Whoop, and then just introduce you to what I'm doing. I actually did a story um, on Disney, but it's gone now. I know. That's the only that's thing. Only like, I want to be it. able to see it and then go back and check it out. Mm -hmm. At least I think the Snapchat, it stays for a little while. 24 hours, isn't it? I don't know. I know. I'm still learning all this technology. Anyway, so mm -hmm. where can we find you if we need more information? Um, at Pellerini.com. Or most of my um, handles are Pellerini, except for Facebook is Pellerini Proclaims. Um, oh, and Pinterest is DB Peller. Note, if you're starting a blog, get all of those social media handles ahead of time. So no one takes them. But apparently Pellerini is someone's last name, too. Like mine's oh, wow. Peller and Eni is Lynn.